We're going to do an episode of cooking with Mark. And uh, what we're going to do today, this is what we're going to do. We're going to do a little bit of ninja style. We're going to take you to faraway places. Faraway places with some awesome flavors with some mushrooms and some different spices. Garlic salt. And uh, you'll be thinking of the Great Wall of China. You'll be thinking of cherry blossoms and uh, geisha girls. Teriyaki sauce made in Canada. We're going to be doing some air fried teriyaki pork and some stuffed mushrooms. Uh, did I say we? Hold on. Do I got a mouse in my pocket? Is there a mouse around here? I'm not going to be cooking it. He is. This kid is gonna be cooking your food. That's right. So easy, anybody can do it. Ninja style. Yeah. First, you're gonna take your garlic salt and then put it in your butter. Not too much. Drag it out. First, you're gonna take some of your garlic salt and put about this much. And then you're just gonna put it in your butter and make sure it gets around. Then you're going to take your butter and then wipe it all over your mushroom. Now what you're going to do is just very carefully flip over the mushrooms. You don't want to break it. Now you're going to basically take your garlic salt or your garlic salt butter and put that in your mushroom. So then what you're going to do next is with the remaining of your garlic butter, you're just going to dump it into the breadcrumbs. This is five sli slices of 647 bread in this bowl. So what you're going to do next is you're going to take some chopped onions and put that in your breadcrumbs. Then you're going to take some mozzarella cheese, or any cheese of your choice, um, festive cheese, any other cheese, and just put that in here now. Okay, so now you're going to take some chopped celery and put that in here. Okay. Now you're just going to take a little bit of garlic salt, not too much, like about nearly that much. Put that in there. Now you're going to take about three shakes of garlic pepper. That's regular pepper. pepper. <laughs> then you're going to take your favorite type of mayonnaise and just put about nearly a shot in there. And maybe just a bit So now what you're going to want to do is just stir it around. Make sure that you stir it around pretty good. This is chicken broth right here. You're going to use um, as much as you need to to make it moist. So you're just going to put that in there. And now what you're going to want to do is just stir that up at this point. So now what you're going to want to do, like we did this one, we basically made like a little hamburger patty. So what you're going to do is get dirty, put your hand in there, make a little ball, and put that in there. And then you're just going to take some others and just put that around there. Now you want to be a bit gentle because you don't want to break the sides because if you do that, it will basically ruin your meal. So now what you're going to want to do is take some Pam cooking spray and put some Pam in there. And then now what you're going to want to do is be very careful because the air fryer may be a bit hot on the sides. Take one of your mushrooms, put it in there, and put it as close there because you might not have enough space. Now time for everyone's favorite, meat. I like meat. What kind of meat? This is pork. What kind of pork? Country pork. 
style. Style fork. Boneless. Boneless. Delicious. That's right. So now what you're going to want to do is take just a very, very little amount, like about this much, or this much of garlic salt. Just sprinkle that all over. So before you start, you're going to want to make sure that your meat is as dry as possible because you want your meat delicious because I like meat. And then you're going to take some pepper and just sprinkle a little bit on there if it ever wants to come out. There we go. And sprinkle a little bit on each. Now you're going to take your delicious, 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 delicious meat, put it in your air fryer. Look at this. It looks almost, well, a bit more crowded than the school bus in the morning, but yeah. So now we're going to just take this and put this over here and scoop. Put that in there. So now you're going to put your machine on, 370, and we're going to put this up to, oops, 18 minutes, and then we're going to start. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys want to see more, make sure to comment down below, and we'll be back when the meat's about done. I like meat. So now what you're going to do, it's been nine minutes, half the cooking time. So you're going to pull out your meat and your mushrooms. We're going to put that right there. Now what we're going to do is just flip our meats. So now what we're going to do is take our teriyaki sauce made in Canada and take it and put it on the meat. So we're going to keep covering all the meat. It doesn't matter if you get some on your mushroom. It's not the best thing to do, but if you do it, it's fine. Put a bit more on that one, and then go on to the next couple. So I put some teriyaki sauce on the meat, generously put it on there, and then now what we're going to do is put it back in for the other nine minutes, and if we need to, the mushrooms seem like they're just about done, so we might have to take them out a bit early. So let's put this back in, and we'll put it back in for the other nine minutes. So we'll see you guys back whenever the nine minutes are up. So we're going to go ahead and take the mushrooms out and the pork. So what we're going to do now is just take the mushrooms out with this little scoop. Remember the pan's hot. Don't want to break it. Remember the pan's hot. Pork's done, so we're just going to take some teriyaki sauce and put that on there. But then we're going to put it in one more minute after we do this. So we put it in for a minute, and now we're just going to take it out and put it back over where it was before. Remember, Remember be careful. Remember, be very careful with it. If you touch the pan, like I just did like a minute ago, um, it's very, very hot and it will burn you. So now what we're going to do is just take all of these bad boys out. And you know why we cook this meal? Because we like meat! Who doesn't like meat? Unless you're a vegetarian. Then don't watch this. Please watch it. Now, we got all six of our beautiful countryside style pork.
So now that it's done, look how good that looks. That looks very, very delicious. Not a very big fan of mushroom, but since I cooked it and since I did this, I guess I have to eat it. So. I'm not a big fan of mushroom, but that is absolutely delicious. Now, I'm going to get a bite of that delicious teriyaki pork. It is very, very good. I want to thank you guys again for watching. Um, this is pork and stuffed mushrooms. It's very, very delicious. And if you guys are wondering what shirt I'm wearing, um, this is my brother's channel. His name's Mr. Sony Pony. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And now back to him. I'm back. Cool with Mark. I hope you watched that video. I hope you enjoyed it. That's my son. He cooked this meal. I didn't do shit. I watched and recorded. He cooked. Uh, he made uh, pork teriyaki, uh, braised pork, mushrooms. Now there's a couple things um, that we could have threw in there. As soon as them mushrooms came out, you could chuck more meat in there. Why more meat? Because you can feed four people. You can cut these in half, chuck some more food in there. But I can assure you that I, feel, I feed four people with this air fryer every single day, unless I get a pizza. Once I get a pizza. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm gonna try this. I'm a ninja. Let me try it. It looks delicious. Mm. Oh my gosh, that's delicious. That is delicious. Let me try the pork. That's a piece of pork and, and mushroom that anybody would be proud of um, if you're from Canada using teriyaki sauce. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. See ya.